What's going on Pokemon trainers? Welcome to part 19 of our Pokemon Crystal playthrough. This is a unique video in that while in the past I've kind of just shown you the uh, the journey and the adventure of getting through all the gym leaders, catching some Pokemon and whatnot, I wanted to take this as a time to go over a unique little way to alter the day and time in the game if you want to run into specific Pokemon or events that rely on a certain day or time uh, of day. So that being said, let's jump right into it. So first and foremost, we're going to take a look at my trainer information. So we're going to go to Marcus. You'll notice that Marcus is all capitalized, and that is important to note. That is uh, That does matter. The ID number here, 05189, and the money, 46043. So in the description box below, I provided a link to Cypokes.com. The information, the name, the ID number, and the money will generate a unique code which will be used to make this little, uh, I don't want to say glitch, it's not game breaking or a glitch, but this uh, altering method, this day altering method, this is how it works by utilizing this code. So we got my name, we got my ID number, we got the money that you see here, and then now I'm gonna just going to reset my game and we're going to go back at the title screen where you see Siwakun running just under the Pokemon Crystal uh, intro screen logo here. Okay, now I'm going to hit a variety of buttons which are going to bring up a unique screen where this code will be entered. So using the cypokes.com URL, the link that's down there in the description box and typed in my ID number, the way I spell my name in all caps, and the amount of money that I have on my character in game, uh, we're going to hit these buttons right here. So we're going to hold down, select, and B. I'm going to release down and B while still holding select, and then we're going to hit left and up and select all at the same time, and I'm going to release select. And then you have this little white screen right here. We're going to go ahead and say yes to resetting the clock. The password is 01178. 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 01178. That is my password. Password OK. There we go. And then it's going to go ahead and bring us right back to the area where we can uh, kind of just start the game like normal. OK. All right. We're going to say continue. No time set. You'll notice the time there has a bunch of question marks. Just once again, confirming that this worked. I'm just going to move this out of the way so you can see it still, but not interfering with the actual game. The clock's time may be wrong. Please reset the time. Okay. So as of right now, Saturday at 4.53, that's the time it is right now for me while I'm recording this video, but I want to catch a lapper. So we're going to go ahead and drop it back to a Friday and we're going to say yes. And then once this is done, I'm going to do it in between videos because I'm not going to make another one about the same thing. I'm going to uh, catch a Scyther, trade it out, get a metal coat, send it back over, and that's going to give me a Scizor. But let's go ahead and use Pidgeot, and we are going to fly to Azalea Town, and then we're going to go east of Azalea Town into Union Cave, and we're going to follow the steps to catch a Lapras, which is the whole point of this little video. Okay. All right, so we're just going to roll on through. There might be a trainer or two in the way uh, while getting back here. Nope, we're good. I think that girl's okay. All right, so we're going to go to Union Cave. All right, now I don't actually remember how to catch Lapras or where to catch Lapras in this area, so this is going to be kind of one of those things that we just uh, we work on together. Let's take a look. We're just going to do some do some looking around. Nope. Wait, that actually might be right. Oh crap! I forgot. I got to use a repel and uh, get through that as well. But this handy trick will allow you to run into a variety of trainers. It'll allow you to run into a variety of Pokemon at any given time. Um, and like I said, the bug catching event also is really important. That's where I'm going to catch my Scyther in a bit. Uh, I'm sorry, my Scyther. And then we're going to trade that out for a Scyzor. Let's go ahead and go to my pack. Always using repels. Just want to make sure that we don't run into any other Pokemon along the way. Now, the good news is, is that if... Uh, yeah, okay, we still got the repel. Okay, got it. Uh, the good news is that if we run into a Lapras and we accidentally knock it out, that's okay, because a Lapras will show up every Friday. So if we do that, it's no big deal. What does this guy want? I'm not even going to talk to him. Eh, let's talk to him. It might be a battle. Damn it. I thought he might have had some useful information that he wanted to give me, but instead it's just a big old dumb battle. Whatever. All right. Pokemaniac Andrew showed up. What are his uh, his level of uh, Pokes that he's got? Ooh, a Marowak. Level 24, okay. Now, of course, in any situation where you're going to try and catch a unique Pokemon, in this case, the rare Pokemon Lapras, there are always going to be obstacles and challenges, so make sure that you have the right Pokemon lineup. At this point, if you've done anything like me by doing the grinding, you should have Pokemon that are strong enough to uh, withstand any challenges that'll be in your way. Uh, in this case, Marowak's not going to stand a chance against Psychic-type Pokemon, but Alakazam, once again, does have a low defense and special defense in comparison to other types, so keep that in mind. Nope, we're good. As soon as we beat Marowak, we continue on our journey and cross this water area. He'll live through that. No! Okay, taking him down. Nice, nice. 
Okay, so we got the monies. Let's just move on. Yep. Yeah, in the previous video, I was able to cash out uh, from my mother and... Oh, that was a dumb move. And uh, I, so I got all my money back. I left her actually with one dollar just because, you know, that's the type of kind person that I am. And made sure I didn't save anymore. So no more sending money back to mom. Since she always spends it on crap that I don't need. We can drop that image off now. You guys got it? You got it? Okay, we're going to take that image off. All right, let's continue this battle. Calvin's here. Now, uh... I don't expect anyone who's doing a playthrough to run through and wait for certain days of the week to get unique items and run into rare Pokemon. So, uh, that's why I think this is one of those, I don't want to say cheats, but for lack of a better word, cheat, um, it's kind of a fair one to use. Like, I'm not, I'm not really concerned about this one, so. Ooh, Mega Punch is going to do some mega damage. Oh, eh, not that bad. Okay, we're good. But be that as it is, this is going to be extremely helpful for catching so many Pokemon, getting unique items to help make your Pokemon stronger. And if you're like me and you are planning to trade your Pokemon forward, uh, the ones that you've built a uh, special relationship to, naturally, this would be a good way to, uh, you know, build up that Pokemon lineup from Generation 1 to Generation 2, and then the sooner the better you can get to Generation 3. Alright, let's see what we got here. Actually, don't even remember where Lapras is. There's a trainer there. That repel should be wearing wearing off here soon. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really care about that guy. I bet there's an item hiding over here. No, there's not. I expected that there would be. Nope, nothing. Okay. Let's just keep on looking around. See, what do we got over here? Here we go. Damn, I didn't expect that there'd be so many trainers in here. Crap. Oh, this girl. She caught me by surprise. But I guess there's not really a way to avoid it, is there? Because uh, they only have one way to walk, right? So, Like I said, not without challenges. Lapras should be here any moment. Poliwhirl being a water-fighting type Pokemon... In Still going to be at that disadvantage because I've got a Psychic type on my side. I should be able to knock him down in one hit. If not, that's okay. Should be two. Okay. It's always funny to me to consider that there are a ton of trainers out here just randomly walking around in caves that are far more powerful than a variety of the gym leaders that we run into. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to do that again. In the Pokemon manga in the anime, they use... Uh, like, gym leaders use Pokemon that are tailored to your level specifically, so I would like it if that's kind of how it was. That way you can't really, like, grind like crazy like I do. There it is. Alright, so, got ourselves a Lapras. We're going to go ahead and save it. Yes. Saving the game. Alright, what Pokemon do I have that can do some paralyzing type moves? Well, Lapras, let's go ahead and just interact with it, see what happens, and send it to the box. I don't really have the best uh, line of, a, of, a, of moves to try and catch Pokemon. Hey, a female Lapras. Wait, is Lapras always female? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to keep using Teleport so I can disable all of Lapras' moves. Oh, bitch, no! Why did I do that? So dumb. Why did I do that? Oh, I forgot he would flee from the battle. Oh, God. Okay, well, let's reset the game. That was so dumb. I'm an idiot. Why would I do that? What a moron. Such a buffoon. I was not using my brain there. Oh. Okay. That was really stupid. Oh. Was not was not thinking. Alright. So let's go ahead and use... I'm going to use Growlithe. Intentionally with the disadvantage. Actually, you know what? No. Let's use for Alligator. That would probably be better because... For Alligator is the same level of Growlithe. Water against water. We won't do a ton of damage to Lapras. Oh, I can't believe I used Teleport against Lapras. What a moron. That was so dumb. Oh, Lapras doesn't always appear as female. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, well. A male Lapras. All right. Um, right. Let's use Cut. I don't know if this will be a one-hit KO. My Pokemon might be too strong. Good. Okay, sweet. So we can use a Cut a couple of times. Body Slam. Alright, and then we're going to switch to Pokemon Alakazam. Alakazam going to be using Disable. Hopefully we can disable that Body Slam attack. 
Yikes, that actually might hurt. That looks like I'm just gonna weak that way. No, okay, that's not bad. Fight, let's use disable. Aw, oh, you serious, man. Alright, let's go ahead and switch back to Feraligator. I didn't expect that to be the case. I thought it was going to work the first time. And I, Alakazam doesn't have enough health to withstand that. We use Disable. We disable that move. He's going to... Alakazam. Lapras is going to do another attack. It's going to do some damage. I don't want Alakazam, Alakazam to be knocked out. So, let's just not do that. Uh, I didn't get any Ultra Balls yet. I don't think we get those until the 7th Gym Island or Gym Area. Can we catch it? Boom. Oh, really? You little... Bastard. Alright. Here I have expected that to work. Oh well. Paralyzing, no big deal. Pack. Great ball once again. Come on, catch that Lapras. For real? For real? How is this even happening? Alright, let's just use it again. See, if I was a Pokemon trainer, I'd be carrying a Tranquilizer gun, and I would just be blasting Pokemon, like, left and right, just knocking them out unconscious, and then just catching them that way. It always seems silly to me that we're fighting random Pokemon, and then when they get knocked out, then, like, oh, we missed our chance to catch them. It's like, they're unconscious. Their body should be right in front of you. You should be able just to pick them up and shove them in your backpack if you want, you know? Put them in a garbage bag, sling them over your shoulder, and then take them wherever. It doesn't make sense. There we go. God. It doesn't make sense that, uh... That we have to get him just like one HP, you know? Of course, the entire Pokemon mechanic would need to be redone if you had to knock a Pokemon unconscious for that. Cool. All right. Now, Lapras, you can catch as many as you want. So, naturally, you're in that position where you can just catch, you know, female, male, whatever it is that you're after. But, anyway, I'm going to head back out of here and I'm going to go catch myself a Scyther. So, in the next video, hopefully, I should have myself a Scizor. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you found it helpful, I'll uh, provide some description uh, details down in the box below, such as like the uh, like the steps I took once again, just in case you're confused or if I didn't explain it very well. I want to make sure that you guys know exactly what it is uh, that I did, so I'll detail that out in the description box. But be sure to drop a like, comments if you have any questions or concerns or feedback for me. Be sure to subscribe because it helps the channel grow, always helps me out, and it uh, is a nice little motivator that uh, to make new videos and stuff like this. But... Uh, Anyway, thank you for hanging out, guys. Much appreciated. I will see you next time when you continue our Pokemon Crystal playthrough. Do not run into a wild Pokemon. We're almost out. There we go. All right. Take it easy, guys.